Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing my favorite go-to makeup look, like an everyday makeup look for the fall. And if you wanna know how I got this look, to keep on watching. Bye. Okay, so I already did my brows off camera and I'm going to start by priming my face. First, I'm going to be going in with the Radiance Serum. Next, I'm going to be going in with my one and only favorite Too Faced Primer. <sighs> it smells beautiful. Let me put on the cat ears just to get my face, my hair out of my face. And let's take a moment to absorb the fact that I did this to my hair. I can't believe, like I'm still not used to seeing my hair like a normal color, I guess. It's dark brown, it looks pretty dark on camera, but it looks like black on camera, but it's dark brown and I cut it hella short. So, you know, just those midlife crisis type of moments. No, but really, like, uh, whenever I have an anxiety attack, I tend to just do drastic things to my hair and there's no going back anymore. Like, I'm not in a mess with it. Just let it be okay so now that our face is nice and primed we're gonna go in and start with our eyes i'm gonna be priming my eyes with the it cosmetics by by under eye concealer this one i really like the coverage that it has it's one of the few concealers that has like a full coverage but doesn't emphasize on my dry skin so I also use a concealer to clean my brows and from there I drag it down I'm gonna use a wet Beauty blender and blend it out. So now that it's blended out, I'm gonna set it with some vanilla setting powder or like any setting powder that you want. Just to prevent any crease okay so and now that our eyes is are primed and set I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia palette and and I'm gonna be using fudge I'm going to be using the Morphe R32 brush and this is what it looks like. I'm going to start just by like pressing on it. Just patting it on and then we're going to blend. Now 
Next, I'm going to be going in with Rowdy, and this is a blending brush that I'll be using. It is just a small blending brush. I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm going to focus just right here. Now I'm going to get a tapered blending brush and it's clean and with the clean brush I'm going to go in and blend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on this just to be on the eyelid. So you see how the like, wherever is going up, the little crease that turns here, I'm not going over it. So now with a clean tapered brush, we're going to blend. Okay, so this is how it looks now. It's nice and blended and there's no sharp line where the two colors meet so I'm just going to get a wipey and clean right here Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with a pointy brush and I'm going to be going in with fudge and just put it on my bottom lash on the outside of my waterline. Next, I'm going to be going in with Rowdy, and I'm going to be using the same brush that I did. And for this one, I'm going to be focusing mainly on the center. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to be going in with the BFF Lashes from Jenny's Deja Vu. Link will be down below. Okay, so I went ahead and added the lashes off camera. I also added some black eyeliner inside my waterline, inside my bottom and, and top waterline. And it is optional for you to do either a wing liner or just leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of eyeliner. But it's just going to be like a strip. Just so the strip of my eyelashes will kind of... Just so that my strip lash doesn't isn't as noticeable as it is right now. And I'm going to be going in with the NYX eyeliner. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I already put on some eyeliner and next next I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Concealer and this is in the shade 30.5. I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend it out. Next, I'm going to be going with the foundation Makeup Forever in the shade Y335. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Browser. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Revlon Color Stay Press Powder in the shade 810 Fair. And I'm going to be using the Round Buffer Brush M446. And this is just going to be to set my face. Next I'm going to be going in with the Evie Beauty Bubbly Highlighter. like I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna be using the same highlighter and I'm going to put it on my inner corner. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Balm Spring Blush. I'm going to be going in with the Life Glam Lip Scrub. It smells super good. I don't know if it's like watermelon type or something, but it smells really good. Next, I'm going to be going with the ColourPop Lip Balm. And this is in the shade Cheetah Matte X. the liquid lipstick from Kat Von D in the shade Vampira. Okay, so this is the end result. And this is my favorite, favorite go-to um, everyday type of fall look. Okay guys, so this is the end look. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!